Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. In this video, we're going to take a look at completing daily challenges for today, Wednesday, November the 15th, 2023. Let's take a look at and see what we got for today. Alright, we got some good ones here. Now, every single one of these daily challenges, I have many videos on my channel that will help you out with them. I'll give you different ideas, different locations, easy areas, hard areas that were there. We'll cover many wide ranges of various players out there, various levels. So there's a particular daily, weekly challenge that's giving you a hard time. I'm sure you'll find a video on my channel that will help you guys out. And I usually keep my videos uh, fairly updated. So just to FYI on that. Okay, uh, there's not a whole lot that we can do in our own camp here. Uh, other than this one here. Craft any flare at a tinkerer's bench. Okay, so we talked about this one earlier today. I put out a video uh, for the weekly challenge because we have something very similar. So basically, if you go to the atomic shop, all right, it'll be under uh, skins. And if we go down here to the backpack area, you'll see the um, the type of flares that you have. So these are flares here, depending on how long you've been playing the game. Uh, depends on how many flares you may have. Uh, now, a lot of the flares I've never bought off the Atomic Shop. I've been rewarded either off of scoreboards or got rewarded from playing uh, certain events. So just an FYI on that. Um, another thing about flares is you can have a chance to get a flare plan from completing a couple events. One at the Middle Mountain Pit Stop, Safe and Sound. And the one down here at the Sacramento Glade called Beast of Burden. So you do have a, a chance for a plan to drop for a flare there as well. Okay, so there's two different types of uh, crafting these uh, flares. Let's go to our Tinker's Workbench here. And the one for the daily, this is the one that they want. So let's go down here to Souvenirs. And this is where your flares are at. So most flares only cost plastic. Let's go ahead. We're going to craft this one right here. Doesn't matter which one. There we go. Craft any flare at a tinkerer's bench. Just like that. Now, don't get that confused. Okay. That flare that you just crafted, you can't put that one on your backpack. Okay. You can only put that one on a jewelry stand, which we got in Season 13, I believe. Anyway. Uh, let's go down here to... Display. So this is the jewelry stand here, and this is where you would display uh, your flares, okay? Uh, now, the flare that you're going to put on your backpack, you actually need to go to your armor workbench. Just, and it just has nothing to do with the daily challenge. I just want to kind of add this in just in case if anyone's genuinely interested in knowing. So you would just modify your armor workbench. Go down here to your backpack. And you would, these are your flares here, and you would, this is where you would, so as you can see how it's changing on the picture of the backpack, right? And you could just, you know, same thing, just one plastic, and this is where you would put the flare on your backpack, okay? Uh, but the flare we just crafted at our Tinker's Workbench, okay, if you don't put it on a jewelry stand, and when you drop it, basically it just destroys itself because we can't sell them, all right? FYI on that. Okay, so I just thought I'd add that in. Because I've been asked the question before. Okay. Um, let's continue on here. We can do a couple of these here at the same time. Uh, let's talk about leveling up, okay? So, I'm fairly close to leveling up. Uh, let's take a look at the stats here. Fairly close. Uh, so, several things we can do to help ourselves level up. Um... Uh, Lunch boxes is a great way to level up. So let's open up a couple lunch boxes here. And uh, before we get going. And that way there, when we go out and we kill some enemies, we'll get some extra XP from opening these lunch boxes. Okay. And then another thing you can do is you can actually join a team. All right. And that's, we're going to do that anyway. Um, sometimes you can start your own team. Uh, with other players, or you can make your own team up uh, by yourself. Let's join this one tier, this casual team. 
Uh, let's take a look at a new team here just to show you. So bonus XP, as you can see, by uh, joining a team or creating a team, other people will join it with you kind of thing. All right. Let's go ahead and join this team here. There's already a couple people on it. All right. That's what we can do too. So that's another round of team. Let's open up some more lunch boxes. And of course, being on a team, um, I'm fairly certain that uh, they'll, even though I'm nowhere near my teammates, they'll reap the benefits of me opening these lunch boxes at the same time. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to get something to eat here. Let's get some perfect bubble gum into us just so we're not starving. Okay. So we'll do our best there. So use photo mode in a teammate's camp. Let's take a look at that one there. Okay, so we have to use photo mode. We have to go to a teammate's camp. Now that we're part of a team, it doesn't matter which camp we go to. Let's just go to this one here. It's fairly close by. Now, another good thing about joining a team is um, their camps are yellow on the map, just like yours, and they're free fast travels. All right, so that's another great uh, way another great reason to join a team Let's go down here Now I've been told before that some people have a hard time taking pictures inside a person's camp Okay, and the, some people think you have to be inside of a, of a building, but uh, <clears throat> not all camps uh, have a building Okay, uh, so just scratch that right off the right off the uh, you know the board there uh, Basically, you know when you build your camp your little camp here and you have that green outer ring. As long as you're within that green outer ring, I'm thinking that that person who had a hard time that time is uh, maybe they're just outside of that ring, thinking that they're inside the camp, okay? So what I normally do, if they do have a structure, I can usually stand on top of a structure. That way there you know you're definitely inside of their camp. You don't have to be inside because not every camp has a structure, all right? And some person said that, oh, I couldn't go on the person's camp because they were locked. You don't have to do that, okay? So let's go ahead. We're at a person's camp. Uh, we're going to use photo mode here. So there we go. We're going to try to take a picture of ourselves here. There we go. Done. Use photo mode to the teammates camp. One for one. Easy. Just like that, guys. It's just like that. Simple. Okay. What is next, Jim? What is next? Go ahead. Complete a daily quest one. Okay. So last time... Uh, when we were near the uh, Sutton and the Overseer's home, uh, we have this little daily quest that pop up. T talk to Davenport. It's called Photo Opportunity. Now, it doesn't pop up here all the time. Sometimes when you fast travel here, it'll pop up for you. But sometimes when you roll up here, it won't. All right, so don't worry. Just be patient. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. And the same thing when you go to Crater and Foundation, those daily quests that you can do there as well. Okay. Um, now, there is a daily quest you can do that is daily, repeatable, every day. Big Al's Tattoo Parlor, you talk to Biv. I have about uh, five or six videos showing you that. And uh, hands down, that's probably one of the best ones to do because you get a alcoholic uh, recipe uh, when you're doing that. But we're going to go to talk to Davenport this time. We're going to toggle this on. Let's go to the Overseer's Home. We're going to do this particular daily quest. This one here, you're going to need the Pro Snap Deluxe Camera. So hopefully you have one when you're doing this one here. So we can see our top right hand corner of the screen. Photo opportunity. Get through there. <laughs> Overseer's home. Oh, enter solo. Okay. <laughs> right on, game. Right on. Okay. Now they're in the Overseer's home. Let's go downstairs. All right, let's talk to Davenport here. So good to see you again. Are you up for another photo reconnaissance mission? I sure am. Yeah. Splendid. Which settlement do you intend to gather information about? Uh, let's go to Foundation. Ah, uh, excellent choice. Those are fine folk. Quite pleasant. Good hunting, as they say. As I'm sure you have Okay, photograph the mill saw at Foundation settlement. and photograph the freak show. Okay. No, we don't have to keep listening to him if we don't have to. We already got the uh, what we have to do, so let's just skip. <laughs> How are you doing? 
the right either over us here. This is <laughs> such out. And that's all we need for now. All right, take her easy. Okay, so we already got our uh, what we need to do. Photograph the mill saw at Foundation. Photograph the Freak Show. All right, so let's go ahead. We can uh, fast travel here. Uh, now, the Freak Show is uh, down here somewhere. Let's uh, take a look right here. So I'll have a little diamond there next to it. So there's the Freak Show. So uh, the Freak Show is uh, can be a little difficult uh, sometimes. They're fairly high level enemies here um and you got to be very careful very careful when you come here i see myler queens several honeybees at one time uh v a wide variety uh, of enemies here all right so uh just be very careful when you do come here if you do come here Oh, that's a Jerry Wolf. Let's uh, take a couple shots at that cat. Now, we don't have to battle these guys. Stingwing. Okay, well, we're in caution. Glowing rat stag down there. Crippling some enemies at the same time. So that's another thing that we'll be doing here at the same time. Of course, crippling enemy limbs. So any enemy at all. Human, robots, insects, scorched creatures, whatever. Doesn't matter. In cripple limbs, we don't need to, um, you know, specify arms or legs or head or torso. You just shoot at them and you'll get credit for crippling their limbs, all right? Uh, as you saw there, there's nothing real special. Oh, let's go ahead and uh, take some spoils off this legendary. I think it's time to pay those seven. One Star Berserker's Tesla rifle. I'll take it. And uh, a bunch of caps here. Let's take these. Has nothing to do with the uh, with our daily quest here, but uh, might as well, right? Grab these caps. I don't know if you guys knew about this or not, but... Kick that over. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so back to taking a picture. Alright, we need to use the Pro Snap Deluxe Camera. It's under the weapon section. This boy, bad boy right here. Okay, Make sure we have it equipped here. So anywheres in the freak show, as long as you see the top right hand corner, as long as it says freak show, you're good. So see how we, how it kind of disappeared on the top right hand corner. You have to make sure it says freak show in the top right hand corner to get credit to get that complete. All right, so that's done. So of the two, this is probably the hardest one. Let's uh, take that off. I don't even know why I have that on me. All right, so now let's go to Foundation. Just fairly close. There's our other one there. Photograph the mill saw at Foundation. Let's go ahead. <laughs> this is a picture I just took. Handsome looking dude right there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> so here's our uh, mill saw here. Same deal. Let's put our Pro Snap Deluxe camera. So see how it says mill saw, top right hand corner. So let's take it away. See how it disappears. So I'll have to kind of show that. So there we go, complete. Now return the photos to Davenport or take them to Kyomi at the crater. We'll just take it back to uh, Davenport. It's fine with me. Uh, we don't need these bad boys. We'll drop them. Okay. Let's go back to, uh, where are we going? Yeah, we're going back to Sutton, aren't we? Going back to see good old Davenport. Right here. Oh, 
solo. Inter solo, of course. Let's head downstairs. After old pal Davenport again. Ah, you've returned. Do you have the photographs I asked for? Yes, I do. Ah, very You can good. get extra very caps good. from him as well. I did promise a reward. By using sir, intelligence. Please accept these caps in gratitude for your service. Alright, so intelligence, 8 plus. Better reward would be strong incentive to help my future. Wow. Wow. Get out of the way, she says. I, I got no time for you. <laughs> and that's true. I'll Jeepers. Want to collect more photographs in the future. Very well. I'll increase the reward. Here are your caps. Come and see me again, and I might have more work for you. Perfect. There we go. Here's our daily quest done. We get 100 caps out of it. We get some uh, legendary script as well, which is even awesome. Love it. Love it. Easy. It's extremely easy. All right. Let's see what else we can do here. All right. So we can do these three at the same time. Cripple a mole miner's head too. Kill a mole miner 10 and we'll cripple an enemy limb. All right, so mole miner is considered enemy. So we'll do these three at the exact same time. We'll be doing some crippling first. Then we'll go after the mole miners, okay? Uh, one great spot for some mole miners. We're here earlier today when I did the weekly challenge uh, video. Right up here in Monandaga. Let's go up there. We had pretty good luck there uh, earlier today. And I was on a... Uh, public server so let's check it out so this one here we actually have to cripple uh, the mole miner's head all right so we will need that special perk card which I talked about before thunder perception it's called concentrated fire this allows you to move your vats from legs to arms to torso to head okay or you can just free aim whatever you like to do however you like to play your game I'm not a good free aimer so uh, as you guys know <laughs> Just kind of whiff by them. All right. All right, let's just aim for the head here. Here we go. All right, cripple mole miner's head two for two. At the same time, we're getting credit. <laughs> we're getting credit for the cripple. Right, so uh, cripple the limb and cripple the head at the same exact time. Love it. Totally love it. God, you see that? Yeah, that's just popping up there. Make a good little daily challenge. Now we can kill these guys any which way. Cripple, uh, crippled enemy. Done. Sounds a little angry there. How you doing? How you doing there, little mole miner? Perfect. Get up on here. There we go. Chew on that for a while. Love it. Totally love it. Oh, this guy uh, survived. He survived the blast. Oh, that's weird. That's popping up like that. I like how they kind of fall apart like this. They look like, uh, you know, bits and bites there. Or something you can feed your uh, dog. <laughs> yeah, little bits and bites there. Alright, let's go after some more bull miners here. Looks like we're in pretty good luck. There we go. Hello, mole miner. Uh, let's check to see how close we are. So we'll see, uh, see how taking those extra lunch boxes we've increased. Let's keep going here. And uh, we'll just keep killing some enemies. As we go, we'll uh, hopefully be able to uh, finish this off leveling up which I don't normally do in the uh, 
daily challenge uh, video, but uh, if I'm fairly close, I'll uh, I'll do it. And most of us know how to uh, level up. I like to kind of describe to you, you know, use the lunch boxes, join a team, and such, just to kind of help with that. Yeah, he's already passed away. All right, let's go somewhere else, Jim. Let's go up here to good old Grafton Dam. Now we're just doing anything now, just basically looking to level up. Got a couple of super mutants up here we can take care of. Manhunt, so there'll be some extra super mutants around. And uh, a little quest. Event, I should say. I love this guy, the warden. Love him. <laughs> just the accent, I love it. Again. <laughs> I love it. I don't know what it is. A oh, beast of burden. Funny how we just talked about that beast of burden. I'm gonna hide behind this fence here. Beautiful. Oh, who's that guy coming from? Is he behind me? No, maybe not. So it felt like he was behind me. Yeah, more than your head there, Pally Boy. More than your head. There's a cat that's uh, roaming around here somewhere, I think. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not, Jim. Right, looks like he uh, mad dogs up on the second floor. Let's head up here. Yeah, he's fairly close. Right there. All right, there's our. Uh, Kind of 20 caps, baby. He's yelling to his little super mutant friends there. We're in danger. Whiff, 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 whiff. How's your leg doing now, bud? You got him there, Marshall? You got him? I don't know why I picked up that sledgehammer. Don't need that weighing me down. I don't need that either weighing me down. Take the fusion cells, though. Is that all there is in here? This is a lot more than that. Usually. It's alright, man. I'll just keep on trucking. This guy's guts here. All right, let's go somewhere else. Let's go to uh, Grafton. We'll uh, fast travel on the other side. There's some more super mutants and maybe some rad toads. Hopefully finish off this uh, level up. A little dodgy today. Huh! See that? That's pretty awesome. Does this dog attack him? Weird.
Getting closer and closer, guys. One or two more kills should do it. Be sure we're locked and loaded here. Get up here! Get up! Okay, yeah, there we go. Level up, baby. Level up. I'll take that. Take that off your hands there, thanks. And I'll uh, take that right away as well. Perfect. Oh, sweet roll. Perfect. Love it. Quail. I think we're all done here, guys. We're all done, just like that. So you saw how far down I was taking those uh, lunch boxes, joining a team, how it helped with the old XP. All right, just uh, FYI. Now, if you don't have any lunch boxes, and I know, I know what you're not gonna like it, but uh, you can buy lunch boxes <laughs> under utility right here. Okay, if you get some extra atoms, you can buy some lunch boxes to fill your boots. I've never bought them, but I just wanted to say, just in case someone was wondering. Yeah, so there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. I'd like to thank my channel members, Artistically Arranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffen, Heather White Tribe. Thank you all so very much, and I hope you all have a nice day.